Medieval and Renaissance art expressed the evolving concerns of the age of preoccupation with spiritual salvation and life after death. The primacy of family and communal identity and the desire to show status and alliance in the original settings, works of art form this period use architectural context, color, and precious materials to tell stories and to inspire awe. Unlike other galleries on um, this floor, which I'm referencing, that tell the history of European art through a focus on individual artists and national schools, the sequence of spaces suggests the context in which works of art would have been seen and used in their time. The first rooms are devoted to art for the Catholic Church, where objects work together with space to make heavenly glory tangible beyond smaller rooms suggest the use of art in domestic settings private interiors in which piety and the display of status still played an important role beginning with the octal rotunda which features arms from princely guard units are galleries of arms and armor intended for war torment, sport, and personal display, a story that moves into the 17th and 18th century. These galleries feature a creative dialogue between the sculptor, painting, metalwork, and textiles to convey a sense of the densely layered present, presence of art in medieval and Renaissance life. So uh, this would be Laurie V and the James and the galleries, the Grenoble Mortarelle. Um, it's Spanish, date range about 1400 to 1452. St. George and the Dragon, specifically a date range 1434 to 35. It's tempera uh, on panel, gifts of Mrs. Richard E. Danielson and Mrs. Chauncey B. McCormick. Here, St. George, an officer in the Roman army, subdues the dragon that has been terrorizing the town of Sinil on the present day Libya by demanding a human victim each day. With this brave feat, George re rescues the princess who was to be the dragon's next meal. Bernard Mortelli um, vividly encoded the details of the story, the dragon in his stony lair, the saint clad in the silver armor, not tarnished with time in the city's walls. This painting was the center of the altarpiece for the chapel of the palace of the Catalan government. In Barcelona, St. George is the patron saint of Catalonia, and the richly decorated chapel was a focal point of communal identity. The altarpiece also included vivid scenes of George's matrodom, matriandom, matrimon, uh, matrion, uh, which are now in the Louvre, Paris. So costly vestments and an embroidered altar uh, frontal enriched ceremonies in the chapel and the celebrated saint. So Saint Catherine of Alexandria, about 1515, holy helpers in Russian uh, enshrining the saints. In Germany, altar pieces are centered on life-size standing saints like the ones displayed in front of you. Um, and it is something you can research and find, but I'm close with a box-like central um, shrine. These brilliantly painted and gilded figures were a powerful physical presence. They created a connection with the wor worshiper who hoped to call a, a, call a saint in times of need. So a princess and a martyr, St. Catherine of Alexandria, was one of the most popular saints in the Middle Ages. She was considered to be powerful in intercessor who could help those facing death or in great need. Worshippers recognize ideal images, excuse me, of St. Catherine by the attributes she carries. So here um, is the spiked wheel in which the pagan Roman em emperor Maxitius tried to execute her. She also holds the sword with which she was finally martyred. Notice that um, the figure is not fully carved in the round. From the side, she looks relatively flat, and the back of her hair is only roughly marked with zigzag lines. So the top of her head was only blocked out. She was placed high above the altar table, so this part wasn't visible. You can only see the hole for inserting a dowel to um, hold and rotate the figure in a horizontal position during carving.
a gouged out hollow in the back prevented the sculpture from cracking and splitting over time. This would have never been seen once the figure was placed within the shallow box-like space at the center of the altarpiece. There, Catherine was not alone. She was displayed with other figures of saints, within other figures of saints, within the central shrine of the large altarpiece. Usually, these figures were placed on the left and on the right of the Virgin. So, St. Catherine's pose and gaze suggests that she was originally on the right side of the virgin and child, now lost. So another saint would have been placed to the left of the virgin. We don't know what the original art altarpiece for the St. Catherine looked like, but a slightly larger shrine in our left. So this altarpiece shrine had movable wings that opened to reveal the gilded saint and the virgin and child on major feats of the church year. On ordinary days when the altarpiece's closed wings were visible with simpler decoration, a spectacular example of an intact carved and painted altarpieces um, completed in 19, in, excuse me, 1494, and it is formerly Abbey Church to the vault. Berlin, Germany. In Germany, altarpieces often centered on life-size standing saints like the ones displayed in front of you. So South German Saint Barbara, and it is about the, uh, dated to be about 1500. So this is linden wood, formerly polychrome and gilded, lent by the Potter Palmer Estate through the Antiquarian Society. 127, date range 1922. Niklas Gerhardt von Leiden, uh, and workshop Netherlands dish, uh, active in Germany um, and is active between 1462 to 1473. The recoilery uh, bust of St. Margaret of Antico, um, which is date range 1465 to 1470, while note with traces of the 19th century polychromatic omni. Uh, so this is K.S. Buckingham Endowment, 1943, 1001 German Swabia. Um, there's St. Catherine of Alexandria, about 1515 Lindenwood with some original polychrome chroming and gilding, the gift of K. Buckingham, uh, date range 1924 to 1324. So patrons commissioned following figures of saints like the two seen here to fill the place of honor at the center of the sculptured, sculpted altarpieces. They might choose their patron saint and the patron of the church itself or the sponsor of the guild that controlled the altar. Paint and gilding the enhanced the impact of the figure's large-scale and tangible presence, but over time, these rich effects often disappeared as a result of later repainting or were stripped um, altogether. So despite her ointment, anointment jar, which is a modern addition, the royal saint on the left is not Mary Magdalene. She is probably Saint Barbara, um, who is commonly shown as a princess holding a tower as her attribute. The reliquary um, bust of St. Margaret was not in the central shine of an altarpiece, but was set as a lower level, probably in the predel, predella or base. It comes from the Abbey Church in Wissenborg, um, Elsens. Um, so we'll move on to El Greco, uh, Domenico uh, Theotokota Palos. Um, Greek and is active in Spain, date range 1541 to 1614, responsible for the Assumption of the Virgin, date range 1577-1579. El Greco's Assumption of the Virgin was the central element of this first major Spanish commission, a com complex of paintings of the for the church, excuse me, of the Sicistrian convent of the Santo Domingo El Antiguo El Intoledo, set at the center of the lower story of a huge reed table that filled the end of the sanctuary. This assumption was flanked by the paintings of single saints and crowned by a depiction of the Trinity, side altars with pictures of the resurrection and the adoration of the shepherds, completed the complex. So the space before the high altar contained the tombs of the church's donor, Doña Maria da Silva, and of Don Diego de Castilla, um, dean of the Cathedral of Toledo, 
who commissioned the work, the triumphant program of the table, reflected their hope of salvation. Greco, who had previously worked on a much smaller scale, proudly attached his signature in Greek um, at the lower right. So Domenico's Theotokopoulos Creighton displayed um, this in 1577. Batolom, Esteban Murillo, Spanish, um, date range 1617 to 1682, St. John the Baptist, pointing to Christ, dated about 1655. This is one of the four large upright canvases devoted to the life of St. John the Baptist. And then Bartolom, Esteban uh, Murillo, Painted for the refectory of the convent of San Leandro um, in this native Seville. Um, so one of the car car canvases is lost, but in the three that this that survive, monumental figures fill the foreground, clearly explicitating Saint John's role as the prophet of Christ. So here, inscriptions from the Gospel of John and Luke, accompanied by the symbols of these evangelists, float in the sky and attest to the importance of the Baptist in preparing the way for Christ. So when he painted these, the series for San Leandro Murillo's uh, style was moving from the hard edges and chirosucos, um, inspired by Francisco de Zuberian's to the, the softer, more vaporous effects that may characterize, characterize his own mature work, Hugo van der Goes, goes um, or a member of his circle. So that's ne Netherlandish, active about 1467, and he died in 1487. So the Virgin and Child was St. Thomas, John the Baptist, Jerome, and Louis. Louis, about um, 1475, and or Belgium, Jasper John, American, born 1930, so target 1961 in the mid-1950s, Jasper Johns began to look for a way to move beyond the abstract expressionism. Um, he quote, I'm said, uh, I'm interested, he's, uh, so he's saying, and this is a direct quote, I'm interested in things that would suggest the world rather than suggest the personal Listen, personality, he explained, the most conventional things, the most ordinary things, they seem to me to exist as clear facts not involving aesthetic hierarchy, end quote. In a radical step, he destroyed all of his previous work and began painting a set of motifs that included numbers, letters, and the alphabet, the American flag, and targets his work pushes the boundaries for using the imaginary on the targets, concentric circles of blue and yellow heightened our awareness of the squared edges of canvas, while loose brush work counters the geometric constraints of both shapes. So Thomas demand German, born 1964, Bad Zentmir, uh, bathroom in 1997, Thomas demand worked primarily from news photography in the first years of his career. When he made um, Barshel, when he made this um, bathroom, the picture is based on a purient um, 1987 tabloid image of German political Uwe Barshel, dead in a bathtub of a Swiss, Swiss hotel room. So the demand uh, rebuild the scenes, uh, the scene in a cardboard, recreating an iconic photograph. So this restaging of the prov provocative omits the victim, but introduces color and deliberateness. So what was originally a prototypically snapped black and white image, artistic reuses of newspaper photography appear throughout this gallery and works by Robert Gover and Andy Warhol, among others. Quote, we always just love this photograph. And then many years ago, there was a Thomas Demian retrospective in Berlin. And when, and we went to Berlin and that piece was in show, but it was also on every ad in the city and it was at every bus stop. And all of a sudden this photograph to which we did not have an emotional connection, um, 
I see its connection to this event that was such a big moment in German history. It's funny how certain things you relate to, but you really don't have this whole experience of them until you see them in another contract, context, and that's Barbara Levine, French head of a bearded man, thir date range 1300 to 1325, and this is limestone with traces of polychrome. Um, so Marxism with capitals and a non-alignment. Burgos workshops the Spanish documentation between date range 1439, 1500, and three, or 15, uh, 1503. St. Lucy, um, St. Agatha, about 1500. So St. Lucy, Lucy and Agatha both carry palms to show their statue status as martyrs. These two virgin saints who lived in late Roman Sicily each hold um, an identifying attribute. So Lucy on the left carries eyes, a reference to her name, which means light. Agatha holds breasts, which allude to the participation of torments that preceded her um, martyrism. These uh, panels would have flanked another large painting probably depicting the virgin and child to form the central field of an altarpiece. Bold color is silhouetted uh, against a patterned gold black background, gave the figures a strong presence in the subdued light of a church interior and are typical of the Burgos family um, workshop in Barcelona. So the great world crisis and slump seem to justify the Marxist analysis while all other systems and theories were groping about in the dark. Marxists alone explained it more or less satisfactorily. Um, it offered a real solution. As this conviction uh, grew upon me, I was filled with a new excitement, and my depression at the non-success of civil disobedience grew much less. Was not the world marching at the non-success of civil disobedience? I'm sorry, rapidly towards the desired con was not the world, excuse me, marching rapidly towards the desired consummation. There were grave dangers of wars and cat catastrophes, but at any rate, we were moving. There was no stagnation. Our nation's struggle became a stage in our longer journey, and it was as well the rep rep repression and suffering, suffering that were tempering our people for future struggles and forcing them to consider the new ideas that were stirring the world. We would be stronger and more disciplined and hardened by the elimination of the weaker elements. So time was in our favor. And that's a direct quote. Um, Jacques Louis David French, date range 1748 to 1825, Madame de Pastoret and her son, 1791 to 1792, Jean Antoine Houdon, French, um, this is date range 1741 to 1828, Bust of Anne Marie Louise Thomas de Dominique Greville, de Serreville, Contest de Pinch, um, so this is date range 1780, Marble, Jean Antoine Houdon, um, was one of the greatest sculptors of the 18th century, and he had a particular talent for portrait bust commissioned in 1780, one year after his first marriage, and this bust of Louis um, de, de Melgeville presents the sitter as a somewhat older than her 18 years. Houdon's handling of the sculpture strike, strikes as a balance between the conversation um, conversation of the sitter's head and the precisely cut pupils of her eye focus her gaze and who dawn conveys her skin, hair, and fabric through the nuisance of texture and polish. Her drapery frames the bust and imparts the illusion of classical repose. English date range 1723 to 1792. Lady Sarah Bunbury um, sacrificing to the graces oil on canvas. As the first president of the Royal Academy of Arts, Sir Joshua Reynolds urged his fellow artists to artists, excuse me, to paint edifying subjects based on the art of antiquity and the Renaissance, since he made his living largely as a fashionable portrait painter, he developed a grand style that flattered his sitters by giving them classical attributes and poses. Here, 
three graces, it seems to be looking favorably upon Lady Sarah, who's dressed in a vaguely classical robe. Beautiful and well-connected, she attracted the attention of the future King George III. Juno, about 1610, etching on ivory laid paper, John H. Wren Memorial Endowment, date range 1990. The Workshop of Cornelius Egebrechtz, Netherlandish, date range 1460 to 1565 to 1527. The Adoration of the Maggie, um, date range 1515 to 1525, oil on panel. This half-length format of this Jewelry um, painting makes the subject of the adoration of the Christ child accessibility, um, accessible, excuse me, while the departure of the Maggie and his exotic follows and livens the rocky landscape of the background. This picture probably made for the market of discriminating private collector just developing the low countries in the early 16th century. So, and here brushes out, worked in the northern city of Leiden but apparently made this small painting for export and sale in a more cosmopolitan southern provenance of the emerging mar art market. Its design was copied in several paintings and illustrates illustrations made um, in Burgess. So Mr. and Mrs. Martin A. Ray Sons Collection, 1933. Secco Bravo Italian date range 1607-1661, standing male nude, date range 1637 to 1638, red chalk heightened with traces of white chalk and the buff blade paper, George B. and Mary A. Young Fund, Harold Jean Jochen Endowment, 1992, Nicolas Beatrius, um, French, born 1507 or 1515, died about 1565 after Michelangelo Bonatti, Italian, uh, 1475, 1564, Joseph of Arnathia, date range 1545 to 1560, engraving an ivory laid paper, Flemish, um, two putties supporting a torch, date range 1650 to 1700, terracotta and slate, so through a prior restrictive um, gift of Mr. and Mrs. John Gullis through this prior request of Hans G. Cohen, Cohen, 1987, Stefano Del Bella, Italian, six, date range 1610 um, to 2664. I'm guessing that's a typo. It's date range 1610 to 1664. Mountain peasant with a child in her arms, plate six from the six large views of Rome and the Campania, 1654, etching on ivory laid paper, John H. Wren, Memorial Collection, 1972, Abram von Depenbeck, Flemish, date range 1595 to 1675, the flight into Egypt, so date range 1630 to 1650, oil on panel, Flemish painters frequently made Menor monochromatic oil sketches as models so that the specialists who produced productive engravings could imitate their range of luminous grays. Abram von Diepenbeck produced stained glass and paintings as well as numerous designs as well as numerous designs for print. So European art 18th through 15th century Juice von Kleb um, and Workshop, Netherlandish, active date range 1507 to 1540, 1541. The Infants, Christ, and St. John the Baptist, embracing date range 1520 to 1525. A center for Europe, Europe's luxury trade in the early 16th century at Antwerp's markets attracted artists from neighboring regions. There. There, Jules von Clive um, found an international client and learned to adapt the ideal forms of the Italian Renaissance to the Northern European context. In this painting, the poses and modeling of the interwined, interwined ch children derived from the Leonardo da Vinci, but Jews placed the figures in the flamboyant architecture that characterized the Renaissance in Northern Europe. The many surviving versions of this composition attest 
to its popularity. This one is unique because it includes the arms of its first owner, he was Pompeia, Pompey Jos Aco. The uh, date range 1483 to 1537, the Amsterdam representative of powerful Germany banking firm of Fugger. Laura de la Hire, a uh, French date range 1606 to 1656, Panthea, Cyrus, Land, Eros, Boss, date range 1631 to 1634. This early masterpiece of La Laurent de la Hyrule's, Hyrule's um, one of two surviving paintings from a series illustrated by the story of the Queen Panthea, who was captured by the armies of Cyrus the Great, mother of ancient king of Persia, and here Cyrus, dressed in um, blue, and chooses to concentrate on affairs of state rather than to be distracted by the beautiful queen and entrust her um, to his friend Aristos, who will fall in love with her to tragic consequences. Lahire's um, painting of this tale of love and honor was probably made as part of suit of decorations for reception rooms or private um, cabinets in a Parisian townhouse. The brilliant um, Colors of the exotic costumes and the elegant poses array across the foreground show the lingering influences of a late mannerist style on the young painter. Echon Lachere, um, so this is French, date range 1616 to 1655, Meekness, date range 1650, 50, following a period of training and collaboration with Simon Vaught, Echon Lachere, Sorrel establishes himself as an important master, receiving important ecclesiastical commissions and also decorating the hotels or townhomes of Guillaume Brissonnet. Um, Sorrel um, painted the eight beautities, um, the blessed qualities identified in Christ's Sermon on the Mount. This personification of meekness was part of this decoration along with altarpieces of the Annunciation, monochrome scenes of the life of the Virgin, the beatitudes with their pat patterned gold ground lined the water, lower story of this elegant ensemble, only the Annunciation altarpiece and the two beatitudes survive. Gerard von of Stahl Flemish date range 1594 or date range 1604 to 1668. The Triumph of Selenesis, uh, uh, about 1660, carved marble, born and trained in Flanders. Grenard van Opstal settled in Paris where he can contributed to the decoration of the Louvre and other royal projects and the implant private um, Parisian residences, working on a smaller scale of the collector's cabinet. He excelled at carving delicate playful reliefs, um, showing the followers of Bacchus, the god of wine, in marble and in ivory. Here is Salinas, um, the corpulent and pro Relinio, drunk companion of Bacchus, is the center of a noisy progression while lively children imitate the behavior of the elders. So a German-British carve of um, date range 1885 to 1886. Um, but in the age of telegram, gunboat diplomacy is no longer a local matter. This crisis is immediate in the dusk in London, Britain, uh, larger not to offend Germans, suggest a compromise. The two nations should mutually agree spheres of interest over the territory stretching inland to the Great Lakes. This plan is accepted before August is out. So this embarrasses British uh, finds basically himself under orders from London to persuade the Sultan to sign an agreement, seceding the lions um, share of his mainland territory and the details still to be decided. In September, the German gunship begins their journey home, a joint Anglo-German boundary commission 
start to work um, in the interior. By November 1886, the task is done and the result is agreed with other main colonial powers, France. So the Sultan is left um, a strip of 10 miles wide along the coast. Um, basically behind that, a line is drawn to Mount Kilimanjaro and on to Lake Vistoria, um, latitude one degrees southern. So um, David Tenner is the younger former state range 1610-1690 after an unknown Venetian painter active date range 1500s to 1550, the Rape of Europa. Um, this is date range 1654 to 1656. David is um, the younger former state range 1610-1690. After Paolo Veronis, uh, Italian date range 1528 to 1588, Abram's sacrifice of Isaac, date range 1654 to 1656, David Teniers, the younger, Flemish date range 1610 to 1690, after Titan, Italian about date range 1485. 1490 through 1576. So the Rape of Europa, again, date range 1654 to 1656. These two paintings are among the most, among the more than 200 lively small scale copies by David Tenier the Younger recording the Italian paintings in the collection of his patron, Archduke Leopold uh, Wilhelm of Austria. So there's resent. Regent, uh, Regent of the Spanish Netherlands, these small paintings served as models for the engraved illustrations and pioneering categories of the Archduke's um, collection at the Beatrum Pictorium Theater of Painting, published by 1660. Um, a prolific painter of the peasant subjects and the other everyday scenes. Tenier, Tenier, uh, also served as the Archduke's curator. So paintings from the church and court in the Southern Netherlands of the 17th century. The uh, 16th century was a time of uh, political and religious turmoil in much of Europe, including the low countries, present day Belgium and the Netherlands. This region was then part of the world empire of Habsburg, kings of Spain, who also controlled much of the Americas and were strong defenders of the Roman Catholic Church against the Protestant Reformation. But in the late 16th century, many of the Presbyterian cities of the Low Countries revolted against Spanish rule and the Catholic Church. This led, after years of, con of conflict, to a separate separation between the Dutch Northern Province, where the Protestant Republic was established and the Southern Provinces which remained Catholic and loyal to the Spanish crown. So, paintings from the Catholic Southern provinces, present day Belgium, then often referred to as Flanders, responding to the prominence of the church and the court. Flemish artists produced public altarpieces, private devotional works and the paintings of the aircraft life. Peter Paul Rubens, and this is probably the key to the whole conversation if you look up, if you don't want to look up the paintings that I initially um, have suggested. These are all like context being applied, um, but this would be the other like rabbit hole that I suggest you really unpack. Peter Paul Rubens so dominated his aerocratic scene, a brilliant and cosmopolitan master of Baroque paintings and design. Rubens also served as a diplomat of the Habsburg rulers of Flanders, his homeland. He, like many of his contemporaries, were deeply influenced by the years of study in Rome. Paul Grill, um, Flemish, date range 1553-1554. 1954 through 1626 landscape with hunters peter paul rubens flemish um, so you have 1577 through 1540 the wedding of pillas and theatus date 1636 the seeds of the trojan war were sown at the wedding feast of pillas and theatus 
um, then Discordia, um, the goddess of discord, threw a golden apple inscribed, quote, for the fairest among the guests, end quote. And the goddesses Juno, Minerva, and Venus began squabbling over it. This is one of a series of rapid oil sketches that Peter Paul Rubens made as models for the large canvases treating stories from Ovid's Metamorphosis that would um, decorate the Torres de la Parra, Parada, a hunting lodge of King Philip IV of Spain. This series was the most extensive commission executed by Rubens' workshop during this um, last year. So Jacob Jordan's painting painted the final canvas based on this sketch. Johannes Jose, Jose de Mamper the Younger. So this is Flemish date range 1564 to 1636. Mountain rode with travelers about 1610 to 1625. Jo Jogem Bevelkler, Netherlands, date range 1535 to 1562. Like his uncle, the teacher, Peter Arsen, Jojen Bakler-Sarar, is best known for his pioneering representations of still life subjects, especially his luxuriant depictions of food stuffs. <coughs> the direct, fresh approach that he brought to this rare portrait provides a parallel to the realism of his kitchen and market pictures. It were landscape with pennant tent St. Jerome date range 1530 to 1540. In the 16th century, the port city of Antwerp was a center of the growing international trade and art. Its artists began to produce paintings for collectors in addition to traditional images for devotional use. One new painting type was the independent landscape and outgrowth of the lovely naturalistic backgrounds that were one of the most admired paintings. So usually a diminutive religious subject occupied the foreground of the landscapes providing, providing um, an organizing principle for the panoramic view that was the picture's main subject. Here St. Jerome beats his breast in reference repentance for his earlier worldly pursuits. Um, the lion he befriended sits nearby. So Jean von Skorl, um, Netherlandish, Darren, 1495 to 1562, landscape of the tournament and tournament and hunters, date range 1519 to 1520. The young Dutch painter Jean von Skorl was was one of the first northern artists to make an extended trip to Italy to study antiquities in the new renaissance style. This landscape was made on um, that journey and it is painted on popular um, a wood commonly used um, as a support for painting in Italy. The landscape celebrates two aircratic pastime, jousting and hunting. So Italian patrons were particularly drawn to the northern European vision of Countly entertainments um, for the for the lively crowd watching the jazz girls, um, borrowed from a 1506 woodcut by Lucas Kranishesh the Elder, Jean von Skorl Netherlandish, 1495 to 1562 Adoration of the Maggie, about 1519. The style of this painting is support of for wood and its history of Austria collections indicate that it was painted by young Dutchmen. Jean von Skorl, as he traveled over the Alps on his way to study in Italy, it is one of the earliest known works by his by artists whose first biographer, Kahn von Mander, praised him as the lantern bearer who brought the Renaissance style back to the Netherlands. Here, the, depict, the delicate col colors, refined landscape, and vivid characterization of the figures testified to the figures' 
and admit mastery and that the younger painter had already achieved before he had reached Italy. So the Imperial British East Africa Company set up for the purpose in 1888, a year ahead of Rhodes British South Africa Company. Meanwhile, the East African Company faces further problems in Uganda, where civil war breaks out between factions led by the British Protestant missionaries and the French Catholic rivals. Master of the Lily of Adoration, Netherlandish active about date range 1520 to 1540, St. Jerome in Penitence. Date range 1525 to 1530, a scholar saint who translated the Bible into Latin. Jerome was a popular subject in the Renaissance, a period of renewed interest in secular and religious learning. He often appears depicted as a scholar in his study or an aesthetic who has retreated to the wilderness in presence. His portrait-like image combines both themes, beating his breast as he can contemplates the crucifixion and a skull. The saint displays the nervous, exaggerated gestures typical of the master of the lily adoration. This painter probably worked in Antwerp, and his work is closely related to that of Dirk Vellert the, uh, and the Antwerp Manorus. Jean Saunders von Hemsen, um, Netherlandish, active about date range 15, 1519 to 1556. Judith, about 1540, um, for saving the Jewish people from the armies of the Azarian generals, Hall of Firms. Um, the biblical heroine Judith, Judith was viewed as a model of civil virtue in the Renaissance. This beautiful window cut off the head of the Prudent and besotted um, general after the willing entering this camp. So, Jean von Hemmessen's interpretation of Judas as a powerful nude stresses her courage as also reflects contemporary ambivalence towards the seductive will she urged, she used against Holofernes the dangerous power of women. So as a recurrent and iconic theme in the art of the late Middle Ages and Renaissance, Northern Europe. So Quentin Massey's and uh, Netherlandish date range 1466 to 1530, portraits of a man with a pink. Um, this is date range 1500 to 1510. Quentin Massey's was one of the most important and innovative painters in the early 16th century and work, which was growing rapidly into a powerful commercial center. In this relatively early portrait, Massey's followed the 15th century traditional by employing an immobile pose, barely allowing the man's hand to appear above the still of the picture frame. Yet the distinctive or the subtle manner of the modeling and the structure of the face conveys a sense of individual character. The pink or the carnation held by the sitter could refer to, refer to marriage or to Christ's incarnation. Okay, so Antwerp Manorus, Manor, master of the Antwerp Adoration Group, Netherlandish active 1510-1525, David receiving the sinister water from Bethlehem, 1550 to 1520, Solomon receiving the Queen of Sheba, uh, date range 1515 to 1520. These two scenes are particularly fine examples of the de decorative style practice in Antwerp by a group of largely anonymous artists. Well, uh, take a second to sort them. By a group of largely anonymous artists now dubbed Antwerp Manorus, the paintings originally formed the interior of the wings of a folding um, tipitich with the adoration um, of the Maggie as its center. Both show gifts being presented to a ruler on his throne and would have been understood as Old Testament um, prefigurations of the submission of the nations to Christ as king. 
the theme of the Lost Adoration Cup panel, okay? So they also provided an excuse for the artists to depict exotic costumes, architecture, luxury goods, and the hallmarks of this, um, once again, Antwerp, Antwerp Mannerist style. And you haven't looked into it. It's really beautiful work. Um, you can really um, unpack that for me hours there's plenty there and uh, the ones i mentioned specifically um, spoke to me but um, that's not to say there aren't others so marxism capitalism and the non-alignment once again uh, i reiterate what we kind of um, echoed at the beginning um so this marxist capitalism and india's future 15 1941 the 10th of november sticks would be a, a source that you can find online i heard it um YouTube, um, singularly this one story, I don't know about the whole thing, but it is a short read if you have time. But Soviet Russia's success or failure, vastly important as it was um, a practical experiment in reestablishing a communist state, did not affect the sound of the theory of communism. The Bolsheviks may blunder or even fail because of the national or inter international reasons, and yet the communist theory may be correct. From Toward Freedom, the autobiography of Jawaharlal Nehru, uh, New York, John Day, um, 1941, pages uh, 228 to 231. So, um, economic development and non alignment. We completed our first five year plan um, eight months ago, and now the country between factory and small scale and cottage production. I speak of India because it is. It is um, my country and I have some story from Asia today um, in its resurgence and these countries which long lay under foreign yoke have won back their independence and are fired by a new spirit and strive toward new ideals. To them as to us independence is as vital as the breath they take to sustain life and the colonialism in one form or anywhere um, is inherent. Um, Quote, only thus can true freedom flourish and a people grow according to their own genius. We believe, therefore, in non-aggression and non-interference by one country in the affairs of another and the growth of tolerance between them and the capacity for peaceful coexistence. We think that by the free change of ideas and trade and other contracts between nations, each will turn from the other and truth will prevail. They, we, therefore, endure excuse me, endeavor, endeavor to maintain friendly relations with all countries, even though we may disagree with them in their policies or structure of government. We think that by the approach we can serve not only our country, but also the danger causes of peace and good fellowship in the world. So this is from a speech in Washington, D.C., dated to be December 18th, 1956, and printed in the U.S. Department of the State Bulletin, January 14th, 1957, and it is um, directly uh, in this reference page 4950. So um, it is sort of a um, dense read, but that particular reference works. So that is all I have for you all. Um, going to triple check here. Oh, I've got another packet. Okay, so with that, I will end this video and then start this one.